Jean Bokelman. My husband, Mark Reiner, and I designed and built this McCammon house. We built it with the intention of it being a positive energy home, meaning a home that not only conserves on energy, but actually generates more energy than it uses for lighting, cooking, and actually heating and cooling as well. My name is Mark Reiner. Uh, we're in McCammon, Idaho. Uh, this is a house that was built in the early 1900s. Um, this old house here that we turned into a passive solar house limits the amount that you have to heat and cool the home. It's not only passive, but it, it has photovoltaics on the roof um, and uh, rainwater catch. In uh, building this house, we've used several concepts that facilitate energy efficiency. The foremost is the high insulative factor of the walls. On these walls, uh, instead of using uh, wood, we decided to use uh, foam blocks. This, uh, these foam blocks, they're um, ICF blocks, insulating concrete foam. So the outside and the inside is foam. Uh, inside of the foam is concrete. Uh, this foam block is actually designed by warm wall technology. Using the ICF blocks uh, is a good way to have both insulation and thermal mass built into the walls. Another reason we use the blocks is that uh, we don't have any uh, lumber in this, except where the windows are. We have a small amount of lumber. Uh, just where the door opening and the windows are. There's uh, a lot of benefits to that is we're not cutting down more floors, but also these foam blocks, we've uh, all the plastic inside is 100% recycled, and we're using 30% uh, recycled foam. So it's a lot of recycled uh, waste material out there that we're taking out of the land, building the ocean, and building homes. Another key feature is that we have all of the windows facing south, a very simple thing that every home builder should take advantage of in the northern hemisphere. Also designed into this house are some uh, additional self-sustaining ideas, including utilizing the window space for a planter box for vegetables that tolerate partial shade and uh, medicinal herbs as well, which tend to tolerate partial shade pretty well. The idea is that you can continue to grow some greens during the winter uh, without having to ship them up from uh, Mexico, for example. We built this house over an old house the idea being, why knock down an old house when we can utilize the older structure as interior rooms? We designed the pitch of the roof for to maximize on solar exposure, especially in the winter, to allow for optimal energy production with our three kilowatt solar panel system. Um, also built in. Um the, we have a ground source heating, so we have geothermal heating and cooling in the house. It also has a superheater, so it heats the hot water at if it run. We find it good, hardly ever runs in the house, uh, but we have it as a backup heat source. Our primary source is from the sun, and because it's super insulated, it maintains its temperature. So, very nice, comfortable home. So you can see the, uh, the old house is behind me and you can see the ripples of the siding. We just covered over it with the uh, plaster that we used and with uh, some natural pigments in it and uh, clay in the other way here. This uh, building we wanted to use, uh, no VOCs or SOCs in the paint and stuff. And so this archway is made out of uh, Clay and straw and sand. And so it's a very sturdy structure. It's been proven over time. For, but this is also a clay plaster and it's a natural plaster with natural pigment in it. And of course, all the lighting is highly efficient light bulbs. Uh, this countertop here is another example of going.
thermal mass. It was uh, just built out of concrete and polished down with some inlaid rocks. Little, the little compo built-in composting hole where you can put your compost bucket, the compost goes down there, and you pull it out there to empty the compost. We've tried to use as much reuse as much material as we can for this house. These cabinets were taken out of somebody else's house and would have ended up in the landfill. The carpet upstairs was taken uh, from the Habitat Humanity store here in Pocatello as were the closet doors. And uh, we were able to reclaim beautiful hardwood floors underneath the old carpeting in the old house. So uh, we are really happy with some of the old stuff that we were able to put in or retain in this house. The utility bills on that house were right around $275 a month. Right at the moment the solar is not on, so we have a, a whopping bill of about $875 on average per month. $8.75.